So what I'm holding in my hand right now is called an ideal implant. This is a form of saline-filled implant. Actually, the FDA calls it a structured implant, which is a new name for implants that they've given because of this implant. And it is a silicone shell, and it is filled with salt water. What makes this implant unique, and why it's called a structured implant, is that it has two chambers that hold saline, and it also has what's called baffling, which is sheets of silicone, no gel, just a sheet of silicone in there, and that's all about making the saline move more slowly when you touch it. Now, I've been using this implant for a couple of years. I think it's a terrific implant. Um, it's again an implant designed for a woman that prefers not to have a silicone gel implant, either because she's simply concerned about silicone safety, or specifically she's getting it done through the underarm and wants to keep the scar in the underarm and not convert to a breast scar in case there's a rupture. So this implant satisfies those needs. The historical problems with what I call the traditional or the older saline implant are two things, ripples and a higher rupture rate. Traditional saline implants have a higher rupture rate than silicone gel implants and if you're very lean you can see ripples on the body. So this implant has really reduced the ripple issue to about the same as silicone gel and the rupture rate of this ideal implant is actually lower than any implant I know of on the market including silicone gel. So this implant really satisfies all those uh, concerns. So again, in a woman that says, look, I want to keep it simple, you know, the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. I want to have an implant that's more simple, that doesn't have silicone gel in it, because maybe we're not completely sure if in some cases silicone gel may not be the best idea in the course of a lifetime. Then the ideal implant is another option that I've been using for a couple of years with very high level of patient satisfaction.